But hello, and welcome to another episode of the Own the Life of Your Dreams YouTube channel. My name is Tamisha, and I am so glad to have you here with me today. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Uh, this channel is about helping online entrepreneurs start, build, sustain their business for the long haul. And if that is something that you're interested in, make sure that you click the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you know anytime I drop a new video, which happens to be daily at this point. So we have been talking about the dot-com secrets book, okay? Awesome book by Russell Brunson. And um, we have been talking about the attractive character, and that is where we started last time, or well, last video was about the attractive character yesterday. So today, we're gonna talk about the different types of characters that you can be. And like I said before, we're not trying to create fiction, all right? We're not writing a book here, all right? Or at least the fiction book. What we're trying to do is create a character that people will fall in love with and thus want to follow you on your journey and thus buy what you are offering. And if people can be on board with you, they will pay out the butt for it. I know that's not politically correct, but that's true. I mean, think of your favorite actor, okay? I love Harrison Ford. I love just about everything Harrison Ford does. So I will buy movies with Harrison Ford in it. I love Denzel. I love every movie Denzel has done. So I will purchase movies that Denzel has done just because his name is in it. I don't even have to know what it's about. That's how they got me with John Q. Okay, so if you don't know anything about John Q, I thought, you know, it was like one of them action movies that didn't tell you much about it. And so all of a sudden I'm in the movie, I'm on a first date and I'm watching John Q because I love Denzel and, you know, why not? You know, so I'm in there, I'm on my first date with this guy and 15 minutes into the movie, I'm crying and I don't stop until the end. I mean, it was horrible. I was so embarrassed, but it was a great movie, <laughs> but that, you know, that's Denzel. And so I sight unseen next time, if it's a first date, well, it's not going to be no next time because I'm married, but <laughs> if I ever have to do a third, first date again, which hopefully I never will, then I will pick my movies better. All right. But, um, so we need to, so you have a favorite character or favorite actor, doesn't matter who they are or what they play, you will go out and support them. And so that is what we're talking about today, creating an attractive character that is true to you, who you are, that other people will relate to, love to be around, become a Raven fan of, and will purchase everything that they offer, which is what you want, all right? So today we're gonna to talk about the four different types of attractive characters and one of these is you and it may be more than one but you're going to pick the one that speaks to you the most that is most like you and most the type of character that you can portray in everything that you do in every copy that you make so here is the first character the first character is a leader character and what that character means to me and like i say i love movies so i kind of relate everything to like a movie or a tv show because that is what i know and i know that people can relate to so a leader character is like morgan freeman in like every role that he's been in <laughs> like in the last 20 years, whether he was the president, whether he was God, whatever he was, he was, he portrays a leadership role. Um, you can think of um, other people who do that, that show leadership. Um, I'm thinking of Lawrence Fishburne, but there's many other people who show that they control and command attention and that they are the leader to be, you know, reckoned with. Um, in Star Wars, there's leaders. I don't really know Star Wars that well, so I'm not even going to try <laughs> to holler out names. But, you know, oh, Yoda. There you go. <laughs> Yoda, perfect example of the leader. So basically what the leader does is they know the path that they're on. They have been on the path. 
and they're helping others get on that path by showing them the way. They are take charge and they show the pitfalls, they tell them what to look out for, and they help people succeed in business based on the experience that they had, all right? And so that is the leader. The leader has been there, has done that, has the t-shirt, and is going to show you how to get the t-shirt without the pain, all right? And that is the leader character. So if you are um, that type of personality, then the leader persona would probably be the best for you. Okay. The second one is the adventurer. And that is the whole Indiana Jones thing. You know, they are curious about stuff. So they want to go out and find, you know, they want to go out and find it. They want to discover new things. Um, National Treasure. Love that movie. Um, Nicholas Cage's uh, persona, um, I forgot his name in the movie, but he is one of those curious, I got to figure out the answer to the puzzle type person. And so they will go and put themselves in extreme danger to do so. Now, you don't have to put yourself in extreme danger to be the adventurer, but you are willing to go search out the answers to bring back to your tribe. Okay, this is what I discovered. This is what I found. And it's different from the leader where the leader has been there and done that. The adventure is I'm discovering it. And so this is what I have discovered. So I'm discovering this. So this is what you need to know about what I have discovered. All right. So I think the leader has been there and done that. The adventurer is kind of going through the process and taking you through the process with them. Okay. So that is the leader, not the leader, the discoverer or the adventurer persona. All right, the next persona is the reporter or the evangelist. All right, they may not have even started blazing the trail. Okay, they're not there yet, but they are in search of the truth. Okay, these are like your talk show hosts. All right, the people who, you know, inquiring, <clears throat> inquiring minds want to know. They are in search of the truth and the truth will set you free okay and so basically they bring to the audience what they've heard from other people so they're like oprah all right or any talk show show host of this time like you no know, steve harvey is a good one the real has a good you know talk is a great talk show platform so they are bringing their expertise to it, but they're mostly talking to others and bringing others' expertise to their platform and to their audience to help them learn a particular thing. So that is the reporter. The reporter does a lot of interviews. Um, they might interview people who gurus in their actual niche, you know, what's successful, you know, what is success, success looks like in their particular niche and how you got there. And so if you are the type of person where, you know, your inquiring mind just has to know and you have no problem with getting out in front of people and talking to them and interviewing them and, you know, allowing your audience to see the true grit rhyme of your niche and bring the hard hitting questions that people just have to know, then the reporter evangelist persona is probably for you. And the last one is the reluctant hero. And I believe I, um, I believe that is my persona. I, I know that is my persona. And basically I attribute that persona to Aquaman or any other hero that didn't want to be a hero at first. They didn't want to save the day. They didn't want to be in the limelight. They don't really want to, you know, be seen. However, they know in order to save their family, in order to have the freedoms that they need, to have the life that they want, to make sure that the world is saved, they have to do what they need to do. They have to spread their message. They have to fight. They have to be the person that they were always called to be. 
and I am the reluctant hero. I do not want to be on camera. I am terrified of speaking publicly. Um, I'm a teacher by trade, but it took me a long time to be comfortable in speaking with my students and their kids. But, you know, kids are brutal. They all tell you to your face that, you know, you stink. I mean, it's just like that. They don't even hold, there's no holds bar with kids. You know, they're like, you suck. You're not, a, you're not even a good teacher. I mean, they'll tell you that. They will hurt your feelings, all right? If you don't have tough skin as a teacher, it's like, you know, you crying every day. And there was a point in time that it was like that for me. I'm not even going to lie every day. And so, you know, <clears throat> I don't like the shine. I don't want the shine. If I could be wealthy without it, I would be happy. But I also have a message to share. I also know that I want to help people. I also want to set myself and my family free. And in order to do that, I have to be I have, to, I have to do what I got to do. And YouTube has been freeing and healing and wonderful for me. And so you may be that reluctant hero, that person that, you know, people were like, you trying to, you trying to be in front of the camera? You trying to have a YouTube video? Nah, bro, you ain't. That ain't you. That ain't, you can't even talk to people. If that is you, if people look at you crazy like that when you tell them that you have a YouTube channel, then more than likely you are the reluctant hero and that is the persona that you should take on. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that because I think it's I think it's better or best for me because it shows the vulnerability of the persona, me, and it allows people to relate more because I don't pretend that I know everything. I don't pretend that I'm going to go out and, you know, jump off a building with a parachute. I don't, you know, really care about acquiring mind and inquiring minds. I mean, I want the knowledge. And so I'll read the books and I'll give the knowledge. But I ain't trying to talk to nobody and interview them because, you know, that's scary for me. <laughs> that's scary for me. So, um, yeah, so I'm the reluctant hero and I'm cool with that persona. I actually, yeah, love it. And so if you're like that, if you're like me, then welcome to the club. All right. And we should have a party or not or or um, some type of group. <laughs> To, to help each other along, all right? And, you know, I don't mind setting that up if that's what you're into. I'm, I'm joking. But anyway, those are the four different attractive characters. If you, you're going to fall into one, one is going to fit you better than the others. You may fall into more than one. But that is the persona you want to think about. That's how you want to address your audience. You want to address your audience. I always address my audience as the reluctant hero. I know information. I am passing along information because I want to save people. That's just me. That's the compassion in me. Um, you want to be a leader. You've been there. You've done that. This is how that's this is how it happens. Come on, girl, let's get this money. All right. Or come on, girl, let's lose this, lose this weight. All right. That that may be you. Um, <clears throat> you. You could be the person. I found out how to lose 10 pounds in two weeks. And this is what I got. And so this is what that, that's what you that's what you print. That's what you portray. All right. And it's all good no matter what. But now that you have a persona now you can structure everything, your whole business around this person. And you haven't created, it's not fiction, but now you have created a relatable character that people will fall in love with and will follow through the trenches. And so that's what I hope I'm doing to you. And if I am, make sure that you like my video and subscribe to my channel so we can go get this money, honey. <laughs> so you can join me on this journey all right and so that I can help you be successful because honestly truly that is my heart that is my goal that is what I live and breathe for um yes the money would be nice yes being financially free would be exciting but my purpose is to set people free and so that is what I'm doing that is why I even have this channel okay 
So make sure that you subscribe so you can get free. So you can liberate yourself from the things that have you bound. All right. And if you want to know my number one top recommendation to set yourself free, that is the first link in the description box. Make sure you check it out. We would love to have you on the team. All right. So until next time, my friend, make sure that you think big, dream big and take action so that you may own the life of your dreams. Bye now.